Hey everyone, welcome to another Ivy Robotics video. In this one we'll be covering flying your drone with a gaming controller, most any brand should do. And we'll be using the Develop Air HP drone platform. It's not particular to the setup for the gaming controller, but we'll have some future content on flying payloads and mod kits with this drone, and some of this setup will overlap, so we'll make note of that now. Anyways, we'll go ahead and get this booted up so it connects to the telemetry radio with the computer, and then we'll go through the setup. So we're at the computer now, and we'll go ahead and show you how to actually set up the controller. Uh, for this video, we'll be using a Logitech, but you should be able to use whatever controller you have on hand, PlayStation, Xbox, etc. Now, it is important to note, not all computers come with the proper drivers, the FTDI drivers you need, so you may need to install those. We'll have that linked in the description. See the page here, and you can just follow through the installer. It should be very simple to get set up and have everything you need. Once that's done, the other thing you need to take care of before moving on to the actual controller is some safety parameters. So if you open QGround Control, click on the icon in the left and go to Vehicle Setup, you'll find safety in the left menu. Once you click on that, you can see you've got quite a few options. The ones we're particularly interested in are the battery failsafe. Uh, recommended would just be an RTL or return to landing. So the drone will return to the landing point if the battery drops too low. And then also activate the geofence. That'll keep your drone from flying too far away from your starting position. You can set both altitude and radius restrictions. So with this safety setup complete, we'll go ahead and set up the controller. Now you will need a different software than we've been using, Mission Planner. We'll have the installation for that linked in the description. Once again, it is a installer, easy to follow through. Uh, just go here and download the appropriate link for your operating system. Once you have that installed and opened up, you should be greeted with a window like this one. To configure the joystick, you go to Config, and then you'll find Joystick Setup about halfway down this menu, this green button here. Once you click on that, it'll take a minute and then it'll load this separate page. You maximize that so it's a little easier to see, and you'll see all the inputs from your joystick on that page. You should be able to go through and assign values to specific buttons or joysticks. So to do that now, the ones you'll need to fly are RC1 through 4, and it has an auto detect feature. Once you hit that, it will bring up this warning here. And when you hit OK, as soon as you move something on the controller, it will assign that to that RC channel. And you'll just repeat that for all four, assigning the joysticks to the corresponding controls on the drone you want them to be. So we'll go through that now, hit OK again, move to the right. We'll auto detect for the second joystick, hit OK, move it up, and then again, OK, and move it to the right. And now that has all four RC channels mapped, which is everything you need to fly. In a later video, we'll be covering using some of the other inputs, buttons, etc., to control a servo uh, and some other mod kits. But for now, that is all you need to fly. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and take this out to the field and show you an actual flight using the controller. All right, so we've got Develop Air set up out in the field and connected to the computer. So now we're going to go ahead and enable the joystick. So with the joystick all enabled and the drone ready to fly, we're going to go ahead and take off. First we'll arm it, and we'll throttle up, then we'll go forward, backward. Right. Go ahead and rotate. Bring it down and disarm. And that's the flight. All right, so that's everything you need to get started flying a drone with a gaming controller. We'll have more content coming out shortly using this to control mod kits and payloads as mentioned, but if there's anything specific you'd like to see, let us know down in the comments below.